guys welcome to the course of coordinator for rust api development this is our very first video inside this video we will see and discuss that what we will learn inside this course so if i back to slide so this is our rust api development tutorial in coordinator 4 framework so these are the things actually we will cover inside this whole course so in the first section, first of all, we will discuss all about the basics of Coordinator 4. So that after covering all these basics, we will develop some kind of confidence to create Rust APIs. So inside basics concept of Coordinator 4, we will see all about installation, the default handling page, it means controller, route and view. And after that we will cover of BHP Spark CLI interface. This is a newly added feature inside Coordinator 4. So after going from 1 to 3 point, now next we will see that how can we connect a database with the Coordinator 4 application. After connecting with the database, we will make our query with the database via query builder and models based concept. Then we will see the concept of migration, seeder, route group, prefix route and all about filters. So inside this first section, we will cover all about Code Igniter for basics. Now we have some confidence. We can create Rust APIs. So in the second, means in the second section, we will start API development. But inside this case, we will not actually implement any type of authentication we will create normal apis inside this api development no authentication tool will be included so simply inside this first phase of api development without any authentication we will install a setup connect with the database we need to create some migration it means migration helps us to create few tables we will create some api controllers and api controller methods next we will set a route we will create our api for creating listing single data update and delete apis as well as after covering all about CRUD operation additionally we will see a concept where we will upload an image. So in the second module, it means inside the second section, first phase of API development. Also we will create an API which is going to upload image to the server. Now after covering these basics, we have now few concepts of API development. Now we can include the authentication system. So in the third section, simply we will create our APIs inside Coordinator 4 but inside this second phase of API development, we will include basic authentication. Inside this basic authentication, we will do some login, register and profile API. So after covering this module 1, module 2, module 3, now we will be able to freely use any type of authentication inside Codeigniter 4. And finally, at the third phase of API development, we will include JWT authentication. Also, we will see that what is the difference between this API development using basic authentication as well as API development using JWT token authentication. So inside this whole course guys, you are going to enjoy with Code Igniter 4 with REST API development. If you are interested to learn all about Code Igniter 4 REST API development, then this course is best for you. So I hope we will meet in the next session. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.